Nollywood actor Uche Obodo is trending because Uche has come out on social media to defend her friend Adam Maluk. Adam Maluk is the producer of the movie um, that Junior Pope was acting in before he passed in the most tragic way. You guys remember that over a week ago, um, we lost one of Nollywood's own Junior Pope in a tragic boat accident when he was going, you know, to on location to shoot a movie the same movie that nigerian actress um, adam maluk was producing so nigerians are coming out to say that adam maluk has to take responsibility for the fact that she put actors life you know at risk sending them across the water and everything without producing life jackets for them even though she has come out to say that she produced life jacket and that junior poop refused to wear the life jacket um, given to him because he said it was dirty but there are also videos showing where adam maluk was also going across that same water without wearing a life jacket so there are many questions if there were life jackets why didn't you yourself wear the life jacket or is it just a nigerian thing where everybody just likes to do and uh, god go take care of us you know we're in the hands of god so at this moment people are saying adama luke has to respond and um, report to the police even though she has you know she has to be arrested if um you know um she has to be brought to book for risking the life of her actors life, life of her crew members now one of her friends in the industry, even though a lot of her friends have been giving subtle hints of, oh, God is with you and everything. Um, Uchi Obodo, who is a very, very vocal person, has actually come out to say that she's in support of Adam Maluk and that people want to drive Adam Maluk to ending it all. And that when uh, people push Adam Maluk to the point where she ends it, people will now start saying, oh, she shouldn't have lost her life and everything. Now, Uche Wodo is posting on her Instagram story saying that she's going to support Adam Maluk. She's her friend and she's not going to keep quiet. She made a lot of posts. In fact, the first post she made was saying that Nigerians should forgive Adam Maluk. And now it has gone to the point of Nigerians are accusing Adam Maluk and that Adam Maluk could have been a victim. One of her posts, she said she's going to support Adam Maluk because Adam Maluk is a loyal friend to her. Another one, she said that Adam Maluk came for her wedding, you know, and the celebrities are human beings too. Stop praying for their downfall and everything. You know, somebody that she was not paid by Adam Maluk to do this whole support thing, that she's just supporting her friend who flew all the way from Lagos to her wedding, two days before her wedding to support her. And I'm like, Uche, I get it. Adam is your friend. But I think that one issue I always have with Uche, and almost every time I bring her, matter up to this channel is the fact that i feel like she doesn't read the room she's always on the other side of things nobody is totally blaming adama look for all the things that have happened obviously like you are saying that oh people are um, producers are jealous of her because she's producing movies and that the same thing adama did, uh, did that took lives is the same thing that producers do and you know her, nobody has been probing them for it that's not the point in a sane country, whether you think Adama is innocent or not, the family of Junior Pope and the people who passed or their crew members can even start suing her by now. Because they feel like, oh, it's your production that our own person lost his life. So when they sue Adama, Adama can go to court and defend herself. She might come out innocent. She may not come out innocent. That's not your call. It's not a, this is not a pity party something. I understand that she's your friend and you're trying to be loyal loyalty at the essence of people's lives you know sometimes i feel like the way she could have written those posts not making it look like um what adam did was just something trivial oh people just died now people have been dying that's how it's given uh, people have been dying now it's not her fault that people died under her care you know and now there's another post she made she was saying that adam look is, um, is the strongest woman she knows and i'm like junior pop's wife has to live with three children without a father anymore because of negligence from every corner of your Nollywood. And you're talking about Adama Luke being the strongest woman you know. The makeup artist girl, her parents have lost a child. The sound guy, parents have lost a child. These are people who have been affected firsthand. Granted, Adama Luke's life will never be the same again because this kind of thing that happened to her, you don't even wish it for your enemy. Nobody is saying that she's 100%, um, you know, um, at fault for all the things that have happened. Negligence from people who passed through and everything. But they are no longer here and their families are the ones mostly affected. No matter how much you think Adama Luke's life has been affected by this whole tragedy, Adama can pick herself up and move on. She can. But the families that have lost people, they will never see those people again. Which that is what you should be doing. Read the room. Diplomacy. Learn to talk. I don't feel like Uche knows how to talk very well. I don't think so. Because every time Uche talks about matters that are, um, you know, trending or anything, she just always comes off like insensitive or, you know, I'm, I, I'm 
those people that call themselves realists, oh, I'm a realist, I see what you don't see. No, you're not seeing anything. You're not seeing anything. There's nothing you are seeing that we're not seeing. You are not sensitive. People have lost people. And you come out to be talking about your friend being the strongest person. You are even making her look bad because people now are going to be angry with this, your friend. Look at how somebody said that how much did Adama pay you because it's looking like it's a PR stunt. She's trying to get people to, um, to make her look good. She's already going through a lot. We know that. Nobody will go through the things that she has gone through and be the same. She's going through a lot. And that's why people were saying you don't even, she doesn't even need to be on social media at the moment. Let her be. This, your defense, is putting her in a bad light. It's giving her a bad name because people are feeling like she's trying to fix a mess that has taken lives. You are coming at, at Nigerians with force. Leave her. Don't involve her. She's going to end it all. Mm -mm, you're not, you're, people have died. People have lost family members. People's lives have been shattered. People's lives will never be the same again because of that boat mishap. And what people are people are very emotional right, right now. So what people are seeing is the fact that they were going on a movie that um, they could have been more safe and they were not. So if you're trying to support your friend, what you should do now is to look for a way to support her in the most sensitive way that is as if, oh, my friend, this is my friend though, I'm loyal to her. But I, I, I feel your pain. I feel your plight. Those people who have lost people. I feel it. Which you are not doing that. You're not sounding like you are feeling any other person's pain apart from the pain of your friend. Who is not even the number one casualty in this case? Who is not? You guys, I'm tired of talking about Uche Obodo because every time she talks, it just makes me feel like somebody should lecture her. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you think that Uche is doing the right thing, supporting her friend? Or she's overdoing it or she's being insensitive? Let me know what you think in the comment section. It's the Rostro. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.